today if you want step-by-step -step instructions on how to create this lovely Scrabble board for your home. Stay tuned. Hey, good people. Welcome to Mommy Room Redo. Today, we're going to be creating our very own Scrabble board. To my right is my youngest daughter, Kyla, my middle son, Miles, and my oldest son, Tyler. Kyla will help us out by recapping all of the supplies that we need. We need a rag, some gloves, the wood for the Scrabble pieces, some sandpaper, paint brushes, gray wood stain, white paint, some glue, and some Mod Podge for a matte finish. All right, Miles, what is the first step? Well, you're going to want to sand out your blocks to make sure they're <laughs> as smooth as possible before you start painting. Absolutely. Can you show us how to do that, Miles? You're going to want to sand in the direction of the lines and on the wood. Okay. And once it's as smooth as you can possibly get it, you're good to go. Good job. Tyler, what do we do next? Well, next we take our wood stain that we are going to use to paint all of the blocks and paint both sides of them both sides which also should be sanded before we use our stencils to put on our letters so let's get that done Ooh. all right why don't we put it down so today we're using the gray our living room is a gray white color so we're going to make the scrabble pieces gray and we'll make the letters white. So you can do it either way. You can use a brush or you can use the cloth. We're supposed to have our gloves on, but. This is also why sanding the block is so important to make sure that wood goes, that pink goes right, nice and good, right on the wood. Yeah, it looks wonderful. This actually is the whitewashed gray color, so this is awesome. How you doing guys? Fun. Because of the fumes, it's best that you do a project like this outside. Otherwise you have this smell in your house, but because we're outside, it's not bad at all. back the next day because it took longer for the paint than we thought and we're starting to paint with the white to do the letters. This is a very interesting project. We are supposed to be using chalk paint but chalk paint is super expensive. It was $20 for a small quart and I decided to use some white paint that we already had. However, I don't think that this white paint performs as well as the chalk paint would have. But we're getting it done. Um, and it's a lot of fun to paint the letters and experiment. And um, we're doing it. Stay tuned for the finished product. 
Hey guys, so we're back again and now I'm doing some Mod Podge to finish off these Scrabble pieces. And it's for like a glossy finish. You don't have to do it. If you like it the way it is, then just keep it. But we have the glossy one you can do or you could also do for a matte finish, but we decided to do the glossy one. So in order to get these tiles, correctly mounted on your wall, what you need to do is have some kind of adhesive. I've seen people use nails, but I think the best thing to use is either these command strips, because these tiles are pretty lightweight, or I'm going to try the Scotch tape double-sided mounting tape. So this adhesive should go on fairly quickly and easily and it will make these tiles more secure. So you put them on the back, make sure that your back is, the back of your tile is clean and smooth and you stick them on and then you take these little flaps and you pull it off and that's going to give you that double sided adhesive that we need to mount the tile. Here's to M for Monique. Now that we finished our project, let's see how much everything costs. The wiping cloths from Home Depot were $3.97. The weathered gray wood stain, also from Home Depot, was $5.98. The Mod Podge gloss finish from Michaels was $5.99. The foam brushes, also from Michaels, was $4.99. The Aline's Stick and Restick Adhesive Glue from Michaels was $4.99. The 4x4 Unfinished Wood Blocks from Hobby Lobby or $14.94. The three and a half inch Scrabble stencils from Amazon were $11.99. The white paint was free because I had that in my garage. The plastic gloves were also free as I had those in my garage. And so that gives us a grand total of $52.85. Thanks for tuning in to Mommy Room Redo. See you next time.